Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you guys about a cool series called Exit Vine. It's about a band trying to make it big, and I personally checked it out, and I was addicted ever since. Check it out. Who the hell is Ambicide? That's Jared Cox. Not so easy to work with, but he's one of the biggest executives in the business. Oh, <laughs> the conscious one is. It's just a press opportunity. Okay, well, uh, Rock is dead, but it is sweet of you that you're trying to bring some kids up from the gutter. Well, as you know, my album's called Keep Real. And in the spirit of keeping real, I've decided to give a group of unknowns a chance to be heard. Hello. Hey, oh, Cora. So nice to meet you. They're only playing two songs. I'm just really sorry the opening act is going to be so amateur. Uh, here are the guest stars for this episode. David Days, John Cimarelli from Simply Spoons, Maria Or Orlova from Hot Forwards, and Joe Beretta from Sources Fed and Barrett's and Beretta. If you guys are interested or not, you should still check it out because this series has drama, good music, and fantastic plot. Not to mention a snobby girl who thinks she's all of that. So be sure to check out Exit Vine. The link is in the description below, or you can click on this annotation now. Yeah, so be sure to check that out, and you won't be sorry. All right, so as you guys have noticed, this isn't my usual workspace, but it is now my new workspace because I just got some new um, stuff, at, like a new computer. You guys probably can't see it because I'm using it right now because I'm recording off a webcam. Um, so that's um, kind of an upgrade, and um, this is going to be my new workspace, and yeah, and then I also have some shoutouts from, uh, shout out to VAT19, capital N-V-J-D-S, that's it, VAT19, with the capital V-A-T, 19, capital N, lowercase V-J-D-S. What he does is the exact same thing I do, except, um, Nothing else. He just do, does exactly what I do, and he's pretty cool. You guys should totally check him out, and that's just, you know, he's pretty cool. Alright, so we got a little unboxing here for you guys. Uh, this is uh, another World's Largest Gummy Bear. This one's red, cherry, and I got um, also Giant Gummy Snake, which I think is, um, I think it's green apple and orange. Again, I'm not sure. Alright, so anyways, let's, let's unbox this. Just gonna move that out of the way. And, yeah, let's get right into it. And come on now. Packaging kind of came bent in. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, I don't know if that's a problem yet. Hopefully it's not. Let's check this out. Alright, I guess not, because it came with bubble wrap. Stuff is fun. Whoa, that was loud. Alright, my bad. Alright, let's see. Um, Alright, so this is how much everything costs. Alright, here you go. There's a message right here that says LOL gummy. LOL. Alright. Uh, sorry, if I went if I went too fast, just pause the video and check it out. Alright, so when I open this up, I notice that there's even more stuff. I also notice a package right here. Uh, I'm guessing this is, yep, the gummy king snake. Yep, and it's green and orange. So this thing weighs pretty it's pretty heavy, maybe a pound or so. I'm not too sure, but this thing is supposed to be two and a half feet long, so it's going to be even longer than the world's largest gummy worm. Uh, this is going to be awesome if I can open it. Uh, oh, I opened it the wrong way. Uh, blonde moment. Whoa! Whoa. So here it is. Let's move this box out of the way. Uh, yeah. That's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, let me go ahead and open this up for you guys. I'm not going to eat it, but um, I will show it to you. Holy crap, I don't know where I'm going to put this afterwards, but um, all right, let's, let's do this. Oh my god, that is... I can't tell if that's really good or really nasty. I think it's really good. But anyways, here it is. Nice and long. It's a cobra snake. 
Here's the head. It's very detailed. You can tell um, it has scales. And it smells really good. Again, I'm not going to try this because I'm going to save it for a review. There it is. Alright, so there's that. Set that down right there. I am going, oh my god, it almost fell over. I am going to get some napkins real quick. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Alright, um, so now we have the world's largest gummy bear. Remove this stuff. Let's get this bag out of the way and just make room for its magnificence. This thing is big, it weighs five pounds, and it's gummy. Alright, let's open this up. And I'm sorry this video is going to run kind of long, but you guys can feel free to skip through it. Um, I'm just going to go all crazy because I cannot. Okay, there we go. Alright. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I haven't had one of these in a while. Well, there it is. The world's largest gummy bear. Let's go ahead and take this out of its um, wrapping thing. Um, I don't, you know, I saw this in a video, but I mean, I kind of agree. I mean, the packaging on this thing is cheap, and they totally bombard you with advertisements everywhere. Even in the box, it's crazy. You guys, you guys probably can't see that. I don't know if you can or can't, but it's just, it deserves like a metal box to be put in. But let's open this up. Uh, it's gonna be sticky again. Right. Ooh, it smells good too. I'm going to surgery with this thing. Oh my god, this is crazy. Alright. Oh, let's hold this thing up. Here it is. World's largest gummy bear. Now, again, this is going to be saved for another uh, time, another review. But here it is. Just look at this thing. I mean... This is all gummy and it's five pounds. This thing is absolutely crazy. Look at these and even has a little belly button. This thing is awesome. I remember I got my blue one and I couldn't wait and now I got my red one. And I want to eat it now, but I can't because that has to be saved for another video. Alright, uh yeah, so that is the world's largest gummy bear. Alright, I guess that's all for this video. Uh, like and favorite if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe if you want more unboxings and reviews of stuff. Now, I've said this again, and I'm going to say it again. Uh, you guys can send me um, you guys can send me suggestions on what you guys want me to unbox next and do reviews on. It doesn't particularly have to be from VAT19, but I mean, and the best way to get a hold of me is not through commenting is through sending me a personal message because I'll take it, I'll read those more than actual comments because um, every time you guys send me a message it goes to my email. So yeah, all right. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment uh, on what I can change, what I can do better, and tell me if you guys like the setup because I kind of want to hear you guys' input. All right, cool. See you guys later. Bye.